Hello my peeps, this is Gina. Today I'm going to make a necklace using the Bargain Bee Box of this month. I kind of got a little pattern here. I'm going to see how I do on that. I'm going to get my glasses so I can see. I must see. So we got, um, I think I want to make it like an 18 inch necklace and then I can put on an extender. Uh, chain. I'm going to start with, I think, 10. Four, 10 of these on each side. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I did this one uh, yesterday, but I didn't care for the outcome. It just, it looked like it needed something. So, should we start with that? How do I want to go about this? It needed a little extra flair to it. So, I put in some of these, these uh, Jonquil leaves. And then a little bit of the copper. Just a little bit. Just enough to give it some pizzazz. So now we want, I'm going to do the copper on every other crystal. So we don't have copper like all the way through it. Just, just enough to put it somewhere. Kind of adds a little, little dimension, I guess. Don't lose it. There we go. All right. Now, go for one of these. Have them all pointing in the same direction. That helps. And then we're going to put this on, then this, then this. Okay, let's see what we have here. And then another one of these. Jean Quill leaf. And then... Eight millimeter fasted and copper barrel bead and copper. Okay, now I think I want at the beginning down here. This would go. How long is that? And it's about eight and a half inches. So now put this here. I'm sorry, I already made this I made this yesterday. And so I'm I I deleted the videos because I just I didn't care for the way it turned out. So let's get, keep going with this. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Can you see it? That's what I'm going to do. So we'll put this one on. And then always make sure that your leaves are pointing the direction that you want them to. So you have to pay attention to which end you're going to put in first. Like this and then, yeah. Barrel bead. My fingernails are dirty, huh? I don't know why. I wash them all the time. Constantly washing them. Okay. Now, we gotta get some copper. No, this one's no copper. Just 
Jonquil. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's the way I say it. It sounds fancy. <laughs> All right. Now, oh, I got those. I already have them in there. Copper. And a barrel bead. Copper. And that about sums this up. Barrel bead, and then my last one. Okay. And then, do we want to, how do we want to do this? I'm thinking, yeah, that'll work. Going straight into the six millimeter right here. See how I got put it right into the six millimeter. So I thought maybe I should put some copper in there, but no, I think I'll, I'll just get just a touch of copper in there. I got just the right amount, so I'll stick with that. So I'm gonna put 10 of these on. There's one, get it over here in view. Three, four, five, all right, come on, I got seven. Put in there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, this Wednesday, I get a steroid shot in my neck. Hopefully, that'll help with my arm pain. Okay, let's measure this, see how far we have about 16 and three quarters inch. So, hmm, I wonder, I just might keep it that way, 16, I don't know, maybe I'll put a couple more beads on, so we'll go 12, 11, and 12, whoops, that goes there. Couple more on this side. 11, 12. So I don't want this necklace to be too small. All right, now we're at 17 and a half inches. Plus I have to put the clasp on. So we will stop right there and then I'll just put a uh, extender chain on at the end. So first I wanna put on my crimp tube crimp tube and to my crimp is my it's I gotta see it yeah there it is see how the it's got the two holes right here I'm gonna put the wire in one side and then down through the channel on the other side and then pull Back through the crimp tube and then pull it nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to separate my wires and then crimp. So you want to go in the back, see how that tooth comes down in there? That's what we want. We want, oh my hand. It's acting up now. Great. And then we're going to see how to put a little divot in there. And now we're going to go on the front and squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze tight. I want nice and 
So, all right, well, let's go this way. There, give it a little tug. All right, clip this part off. I always clip this part off because I don't know, somehow, some way, they seem to find their way out of the bead and then scratching your neck. So there, well, about an inch of waist there. That's it. There we go. <laughs> Can't even see myself. Okay, there's one side. Now we're gonna push this all down. That is sitting just how I want it to sit. So I think I'm gonna cut off a big portion of this because I don't need all this. All right, crimp tube. And then wire guard. And then back through the channel. Back through the crimp tube. And there we have it. Now pull. Hmm, it's a little snug. It is snug. Don't want to pull. There we go. All right, now we want fluidity. I want to make sure this moves around and has room to move, but you don't want any gaps in there. So we're going to crimp this in the back first. 90 degrees in the front groove and Nice. That's pretty. That's a very nice crimp. And then we're going to snip this part off. And that's my waist. Now, oh, it's much better. Yesterday it just didn't have, it needed something. So I think these little, just a touch of copper in there. Just gave it a little something something and these I put in the jonquil leaves so we're gonna open up this jump ring there we go open up slide this on Close it up. And then the other side. Open this one up. Like I said, I had this started yesterday. Well, I, I had one made, but I'm like, hmm, just needs something. Even though I had these barrel beads in there and they're all in there, they just, it still needed something. So. This looks much better. Pretty. Get in there. There we go. There we have our necklace. I think I want to do a pair of earrings. So we got these to do the earrings. that like that or like this meeny meeny that looks good all right now i need a couple head pins hang on okay i got two eye pins three inch i don't really want to use that much but That's all I have. So yeah, I could also make my own hat pin or eye pin too. All right. Now you want this to be a wrapped loop. 
So where's my, there we go. So I'm going to take this, bend it over, put my round nose pliers in there, up and over. So you see how I'm doing this? And then I rotate mine all the way to the side and then pull it while you're back. And then I'm going to slide it off that. Use, oh, what's this one? Hang on to the, the, the ring and then do I want to do it? Hang on. I'm going to get I. Hang on. Earrings. We need a couple of ear hooks. So we're going to see if we're going to do it um, directly onto the ear hook or add a jump ring. I'm not really sure. Sorry for the crackling. One, two. I use uh, stainless steel for my ear wires, ear hooks. And then I also carry uh, this other kind. It's very, very uh, hypoallergenic. So if people are allergic to even this, then I have uh, stuff I can switch out at the store, at the store, at the um, craft sh uh, show. Yeah, let's do this directly on here. So what I'm going to do is open this up a little bit. Open. I need my glasses. And then we'll just stick that right on here. And then I use my tiny little pliers to hang on to that. And then wrap. Oh, my arm just doesn't want to do anything today. There we have that. Let's head back, snip it off. And we're going to tuck that in. Nice. All right, now we're going to open this bottom part. Let's see which way it opens. Ah, my crystal. Oh, no, I'm going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scrape my crystal. There, is that enough room? I'm not sure. Do a little bit more. And we'll put this on. Close it up. It's got to be closed. Closed. And there we have our first earring. And then our second. That be down first. Find the hole. And then I want the round nose. I always use my round nose to make my loops. Or my uh, bend over the wire, the pliers. People use a different pair of pliers. Me, I just like well, I'm just gonna use my round nose, so I might as well just use my round nose to, <laughs> to make my um, my loops. You know what? I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Ah, oh, I want to put this on. 
I, some people use like um, pliers, bend the wire over the pliers, then grab the round nose. And me, I'm just like, I'll just use my round nose right off the bat. I don't know, call me lazy. <laughs> I don't know. I want to get that going, but I don't want it. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Hang on to it. Here we go. That'll work. Don't want to go too tight with your beads with this wire because it can crack that that um, bead and then you gotta start all over again. That's done. Tuck it in. Tuck it in, tuck it in. There we have it. Nope, it's not tucked in. I still see it. And now we're going to open the bottom like we did before and hopefully we don't scratch the crystal but ta-da look at that nice is that all the way on yeah and there we have our necklace and our earrings I'm going to put a little extender chain on there uh I'll probably get on another head pin. I need to get a head pin. Okay, I got my head pin and extender chain. I'm going to put the extender chain onto I think that's only an inch and a half. Yeah, I was right. Inch and a half. So, let's get this opened up. Let's have a Sometimes you, sometimes the chains have an opening where you can just open it up instead of losing a, a link. Right there. All right. Open this up. I need my tiny, tiny, tiny pliers. twist and then we're going to stick it right on the back side back side close it back up there we go got our extender chain now head pin goes on to this bead and I'm going to do another wrapped loop so I'm going to take my round nose bend it over the pliers and then make my loop up and over rotate the pliers come back around here there we go see and then we're going to slide it on that last chain link and then hang on to it up there and then wrap. Okay, there we have it. Snip this part off. Get in there.
tuck that in. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Beauteous. Isn't that pretty? So much better than I did yesterday. Yesterday I didn't have any of these in there or the copper. I think it turned out really, really nice. What do you guys think? Yes, it is. I like it. All right. Well, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It just helps my channel. And I'm sneaking up there on a... I'm, I'm new to this, so I'm just now getting started doing my uh, unboxings and then doing my tutorials. And so I'm getting up to 100 people. I get to 100 people, I'm going to do a, a giveaway. I got this bag full of stuff. <laughs> Mermaid glass, pearls, beads, spacers, all kinds of stuff. So anyway... Hit like if you like this and make a, leave a comment. I like to go through and read the comments too. And then hit that, ring that little bell so you see me back here the next time I come on. All right, until next time, happy being.